The reason why you're not making the money and income that you want from your business is because you've not truly defined what it is that your business is going to give you, the life that you realistically want. Last week, I spoke to you all about hitting £100,000 in the space of 12 months. Previously, I've taken you through my model to build a seven-figure business that can run systemized and automated without you. And in this episode, I'm gonna walk you through a few key things that you need to know to design the life and the business that gives you more time to do the things that you want with who you want. So my name's Gary Das. I've been in business since 2006, and I've built multiple service-based businesses and my passion, drive, and energy is to make sure that you don't make the same mistakes that I did. Ones that kept me trapped three days after my first daughter was born, still stuck in my business, not doing any marketing for almost 10 years, and not learning leadership, management, and how to actually build a business in an efficient way. There's only three ways you can actually increase the turnover or profit of your business. The first is being able to generate more leads. Now, I write an Amazon best-selling book called The Lead Generation Guide. I talk you through five key principles. Gaining clarity on your business and your specific niche. Who is it you realistically want to serve? You want to write down market, message, media. If you don't know who you're specifically talking to, then how can you craft the right message for them? And how can you hang out on the right social media channels or give content to the right types of people? Because everybody likes to watch read or listen. Once you've clearly identified that, then you can crack on with making the ideal content for that specific niche. And then you can leverage all the free and organic social media channels that just take time to post on rather than investing your hard earned cash. It's all well and good producing content, but if you're not taking them from what is all free and organic and owned by a social media channel and into your business, i.e. building your email list, where you own the name, number, and email address, your business is always going to be stuck because you're always going to be in the hands of somebody else. So it's really important to understand how you take somebody from your content, from your social media, and get them into somewhere that you own, typically your email list. And there's multiple different ways you can do that uh, that I discuss in the book. So the first way to increase your turnover is to get more leads. The second way in which you can build your business, increase your turnover, maximize your profit, is to increase the sale value. Now, if you're only selling one widget, for example, to each and every single customer and client, then you're only going to be converting a small percentage of the leads. But if you're driving your lead generation, you're getting people into your business, the goal is to make them buy more from you. So for example, I've been in mortgages for almost 19 years now. And when we sell a mortgage to somebody, whether they're buying, refinancing or investing, we'll look at offering the life insurance, the critical illness, the income protection, potentially a referral out to a partner for a will, a referral out to a partner for a pension. There's loads of different ways that you can increase the value of that sale. And it's much better, in my opinion, to sell more to one customer and one client then continually keep trying to convert more and more leads. Work smarter rather than working consistently harder. Less leads, more value per sale is much easier to build and manage than having more leads and converting less. The third way is to increase the number of times that your customer or client buys from you. There's a statistic in the hospitality industry that if someone comes back to your restaurant four times, you've got a client and a customer at a lead for life. So how can you make sure that the lead comes in, you convert it for the maximum amount of value that you can, and then you begin to sell more to that customer and client after that initial purchase. If your client is buying once from you every single five years, then that's not a particularly good business model. You wanna make sure that you've got ways in which you can constantly keep going back to your customers, keep going back to your clients, with new products, new services. So when we bring a customer or a client into our mortgage brokerage, for example, we might offer them the business protection. If we're going to an investor, that investor might buy four or five properties per year, rather than a first time buyer who buys probably once in every five or 10 years. So it's really important to maximize the value of each and every single client. It's equally important to get them buying more often and when you get that happening in a strategic, automized, systematic way, 
then what it gives you a return on your ad spend. Because ideally, the more you can spend to acquire customers and then have better products and services up as an upsell, the better business you're going to be able to build. So for example, if you're driving leads into your business and they're costing you £100 per sale, the quicker you can make that £100 back and get into profit means you've got more money to put back into your ad spend on the front end. So if you're willing to spend all of that first transaction by increasing the sale on acquiring customers and clients, then by increasing the number of times they purchase, that can then give you way more profit, which means that you can acquire customers better than everybody else. When you get those three things working in tangent, you have a completely unmatched, scalable business and a scalable model. So that gives you the three ways in which you can increase your turnover and profit. Next week, I'm going to talk to you all about my dream model, which is how you design the life that you truly want and then build the business that supports it. If you don't start with the right design, then everything that we've just spoken about in this episode doesn't make sense because it's all well and good driving leads, maximizing sales and getting customers to repeat, but in service of what? because you can end up working hard rather than working smart. You can end up spending too many hours in the business. Your business can end up not giving you the life that you realistically want. So in my design and what I teach people to look at is what do you actually want from a lifestyle perspective over the course of the next 12 months and then begin to build the business that gives you that lifestyle and only focus on one of those three things for a period of time. Do we want more leads? Do we want to maximize the value of the leads that we're getting? Or do we want to get customers to repeat more often? You can't do all three at once. Otherwise, you end up with a busy fool and you're only giving 33% of your attention and your energy to each one of those three areas. So in order to be able to get more gains and in order to be able to build a better business, it's about focused attention, which is why you really need to tune in to last week's episode to understand about how you can build £100,000 inside 12 months or add £100,000 inside 12 months. And you're going to need to tune into next week to understand how you can build your dream lifestyle. Thanks very much indeed for tuning in. Hit me up with any questions or comments below or reach out to me on any social media channel. I look forward to seeing you next week.